Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're taking a look at a new mattress, you've probably heard of the Casper and the Purple mattresses, but which one is best for you? Well, I wanna help with that today. I'm gonna to talk about their similarities, their differences, and help you choose one over the other. Let's get started. First off, we received both these mattresses for free from the brand. We may earn a commission if you decide to purchase them using our affiliate links in the YouTube description below. This helps keep our content free for you and helps fund our testing operations. We'll start off by talking about the similarities between both these mattresses. And first I wanna note we're talking about the Casper Original Mattress and the Purple Original Mattress. But they are both very popular bed in a box brands. They are both a good match for back sleepers. They both feature supportive base foam in their construction. And last but not least, are very close in price. And now let's talk about the differences between the Casper and the Purple mattresses. So first off, they're gonna have some different firmnesses. The Casper is going to be a little bit firmer than the Purple mattress. They're also going to differ in terms of feel. The Purple is going to be more breathable than the Casper mattress. They're gonna feature some different comfort materials in their construction. And lastly, the Casper features zoning. The Purple mattress does not. Now let's take a look at the construction of both these mattresses, starting on top and then working our way down. So first off, on top of the Casper mattress with the cover, you're gonna have a thin, breathable cover. It is knit and soft to the touch. Over on the purple mattress, a soft flex cover. It's gonna have some stretch to it, also some good breathability. Moving down to the comfort layers of these mattresses with the Casper mattress first, on top, something called Airscape Foam. It's proprietary to Casper. It's gonna be ventilated for airflow, responsive, and pressure leaving at the same time. Below that, you're gonna have a layer of zoned memory foam. It's gonna be firmer towards the center of the mattress, softer towards the head and foot of the mattress. Moving over to the purple, you're gonna have Purple's proprietary gel flex grid. It's a very unique material. It's going to be bouncy. It has a grid construction, very breathable. It is firm and pressure leaving at the same time. Beneath that, a thick layer of comfort foam. Now moving over to the Casper, you're gonna have a base support foam right on the bottom, similar to what you find over on the purple mattress. Now let's talk firmness and feel. And in terms of firmness, I thought the Casper was close to a seven out of 10, but it might feel firmer or softer depending on your sleeping position, firmer when you're back and stomach sleeping or softer when you're on your side because of that zoning. Now with the purple mattress close to a six and a half out of 10, about medium in terms of firmness. But this will depend upon your weight. So I'm a larger person. I collapse at gel grid more on top. So it feels softer to me than it might to a lighter person. Now, speaking of feel with the Casper mattress, overall more of a kind of balanced foam feel. You get a soft foam feel on top. You sink in, but it's also responsive. Not too hard to move around on the Casper mattress. Now with the purple, a very unique feel. It is squishy, it is gel-like, it is responsive, it is pressure relieving. A really unique feel you kind of have to try out for yourself. And now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on both these mattresses, starting off with the Casper mattress. On my back, a very good match for me, a good balance of comfort and support, extra support from that zoning in the mattress, so good lumbar support there. Overall, really great for back sleeping. Moving to my side, a little bit of pressure on my shoulders and my hips, but I'm a larger person. I'm pressing pretty far into this mattress. If you weigh less than me, you might feel better pressure relief than I did. Moving to my stomach, not the best for stomach sleeping. My hips bow in a little bit and kind of get out of alignment. So if you just sleep on your stomach, probably not the best match for you. Moving over to the purple mattress on my back, also a very good match for me. My hips kind of collapse at gel grid right on top, but that's it. Overall, excellent support from this mattress. And on my side, better pressure relief than I felt over on the Casper mattress, but I will again note I'm 270 pounds. If you weigh less than me, you might not collapse the gel grid quite as much. It might feel firmer to you than it did to me. You might feel more pressure on your shoulders and your hips. Moving to my stomach though, great overall support. Even as a larger person, my hips aren't bowing in and I'm not getting out of alignment. If you sleep with a partner, there's two more things you wanna think about, namely motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer means if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you gonna feel that motion or not? And edge support means if you're sitting or lying down near the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or like you're gonna roll off and onto the floor? So first off, speaking of motion transfer, the Casper mattress, I think, wins out. It definitely has some more kind of soft foam right on top, absorbing more motion than what you find over on the bouncier purple mattress. 
But speaking of edge support, the purple wins out. I feel more secure sitting and lying down near the edge of this mattress. And now let's talk pricing. And at full price for a queen size Casper mattress, around $1,300. For a full price queen size purple mattress, around $1,400. But we do have some great deals here at mattressclarity.com. You'll find them in the YouTube description below and over on our website. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, which mattress should you get? First off, in terms of who should get the Casper mattress, a better option if you like a balanced foam feel. If you like a kind of soft foam feel on top of your mattress, but you also like some good response, some good balance, you'll get that with the Casper mattress. I think it's also a better option, I think, for light and medium weight side sleepers. You feel better pressure relief on this mattress than you will over on the purple. It's also a better option for back sleepers who need extra lumbar support. With that zoning, you'll feel better lumbar support on this mattress, so it might be better for back pain in that respect. Now, in terms of who should get the purple, first off, a better option, I think, for hot sleepers. With that gel grid right on top of the mattress, a lot of room for airflow, it shouldn't be trapping heat, you shouldn't be sleeping hot on the purple. It's also, I think, a better option for heavier side sleepers. You'll collapse this gel grid on top, feel great pressure relief on your shoulders and your hips. And last but not least, I think it's also a good option for stomach sleepers. You should feel better support stomach sleeping on this mattress, your hips shouldn't bow in or get out of alignment. At this point, you should know which mattress is right for you. But if you want some more information about either of these mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com for the full rate review and some great money-saving coupons. We'll see you next time.